Hello everyone, welcome to the corner. Today we're gonna do a quick what's in the box. I asked you, uh, I think a week and a half ago, it's been a while now, <laughs> what's in this box? Anybody kind of had an idea? I know a couple people took a couple guesses. Nobody was really close, however. But um, we're gonna see what's in the box here. Well, I'm trying out a new tripod here today too. I took an old swing arm lamp and made a tripod mount for it. Give me a little bit longer, more of an up and down, in and out range and stuff to play with. <clears throat> I've been using just a clamp like this one here that held the, the camera mount on top of it and then just clamped to the edge of the workbench. This has been working for me, but some of these box, you know, videos where I'm doing the what's in the box videos. It's a little hard to do with that stationary type tripod. So this way we can zoom all the way back out here if I wanted to. <laughs> Move around a little bit more. But anyway, let's figure out what's in that box. Now before I made a mention, if anyone recognizes the box, you're going to automatically know what's in it. Um, this is the box that it gets shipped in. And I've taken it and gone a little bit further with it. And if anybody's ever bought their product, you'd automatically know what this box is. I'm not sure how many people have bought from C1 Resins or not, but this is what's in the box. It's the resin kit, basically. The only thing you supply is basically the chassis and interior. Which, as all of you by now have probably figured out, I didn't go this route with it. <laughs> So anyway, let's figure out what's what's in the box. We'll pull it out and take a look. In typical frickin' frack fashion, that's a lot of Fs. Frickin' frack, they like to kind of put ideas in my mind and make me do weird things, crazy things, off the wall things, different things. As I'm sure you are all kind of finding this out. But uh, this will give you an idea of what's going underneath the Camaro. Yep. Chassis out of that's going underneath the Camaro. Well, actually, it's already underneath it. That's the kit, the car body. I already have the NASCAR chassis stuck underneath it, like I said. It's all been fitted up underneath. All the lines you see, like I've shown before, that's all my measurements, making sure everything is kosher and in in place where it should be just helps me line up and gauge where the chassis fits that way the wheels all come center in the wheel wells and such but this resin body is a nice piece oops there's a little bit there hood on it's pretty cool This car, when it gets built, is going to have a big block Chevy in it with either a single or a twin turbo in it. I don't know how many turbos I'm going to throw at it yet. But I'm going to have at least a couple, or at least one in there, I mean. At least one turbo underneath it. These are the tires and wheels. That's the tire and wheel package that goes in it. Got Halibrands, the knockoff center on them. Some nice tires on them, tread on them. Wheels are actually two piece, three piece. It's got the outer hoop, the mag itself, and a separate knockoff that goes with it. It actually ends up being a three-piece wheel system on it. Oop. car actually has a lot of nice detailed pieces to it. Now, being that I'm using a NASCAR chassis underneath here, I'm not going to be able to use a rear diffuser. But normally this piece here would go underneath the tail end of it. It would be kind of a diffuser for the air coming out from underneath the car. Like I say, being I'm using a fuel tank or the fuel cylinder, I won't be able to use that. This is the tail center panel.
normally that diffuser would sit up into this and that would complete the rear end of the car. This is the grill insert. Kind of hard to hold it up there. Right? And I'm thinking this is the front chin. Chassis has got to be shortened up yet. But that's the front chin of it, the front valance and everything. And I think this piece tucks underneath all of that. And that'll bring out the front end of it. It's got a little bit of a chin spoiler on it. Ah, can't hold on to nothing here. That'll be the front end of it. And then it has the little bumperettes to it. These can be either alclad or wrapped in bare metal foil, but they give you the little, just the little spears that wrap around each corner of the car. And now, on to all the small parts of the car. <laughs> it's got dual, these are the mirrors. It's got two of them, one for each side. You can paint them the chrome, all clad, or, you know, right way, however you want to do it. But it's got two mirrors. These, I'm guessing, are air, air intakes for, I don't know, probably down on the front end or up in the hood, maybe. It might go to the bottom side of the hood, I think. No, different cut on them, different shaped cut, so I don't know where they go. I have to play around and figure out where they go. Could be some, well, I don't know. I have to figure that out. Here's the taillight bezels going from the back side of the rear valance. Um, got three of these. I'm not quite sure what they are. I'd have to look around on it. <clears throat> I don't know if they're like exhaust tips or I don't know what they are. Got three of them and got two of these. If anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> I guess I don't know what they are exactly. Had to figure it out. And I got clear tail light lenses. And then two uh, chrome for the mirror, reflective for the mirror. Actually, they might be, those might be like driving lights for up front. That could be what these are. Ah, I'm getting smarter here. Look out. Squirrels are leaving me alone now. Haven't totally decided if I'm going to go with the race style in interior in it. I'm kind of thinking about leaving the roll cage completely out of the inside of the car. Just leave it all as you see it. As you see it. Leave the roll cage out of the car, put the Camaro door panels out of the kit down inside of it to finish out the interior and then put twin twin seats up front, leave the back seat completely out of it. Leave it like a finished aluminum sheet metal or something inside the back end of it. Keep it kind of looking somewhat race inspired, but not totally race this would be the engine block out of the uh, NASCAR kit I gotta dig a set of big block heads out yet but then I'll throw the Moroso valve covers on it I'll throw a set of them on top of it and then like I said we'll put a intake of some sort on it and put a couple twin turbos or maybe just a single tur turbo in it or something We've also got the uh, dashboard center console and such for the uh, Camaro as well. Who knows, I may put this in it. I may go this way instead of the race-inspired dashboard in it. 
keep it looking kind of factory stock on the inside without all being 100% factory. Then I also have the kit glass and kit tail lights. Those will be going in there. This is, I think, all based off the Ravel. The Ravel kit that just came out a couple years ago. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what this is based off of. So with that in mind, that's what's in that box. If any of you have ever bought C1 Models products before, you'll know that they are pretty awesome stuff as far as their detailing and what they offer. Um, when they bring something new on the market, you, if you ever think about buying something of theirs and it is fresh to the market, you might want to buy it right when you see it. I know their product sells quick. Um, there's been a couple of things I've seen on there within three weeks later, it was already sold out. So if you see something on there and you want to drop the drop the hammer on, on picking it up, pick it up right when you see it, or relatively quick after there, because like I say, they do go quick. But anyway, that's what's in that box. So now we're going to bring out another one and have you guess at what's in the next box. Again, this is just the lid because of what I have in the box. I don't, I don't like tipping stuff or rolling stuff because then it gets stuff thrown all over inside the box i kind of keep stuff organized in the box as much as i can and this is one of them <laughs> but uh, this take a take a guess of what's in this box i'll give you a hint it's close to what's on the lid but it's taking us a little own little twist as you can probably imagine <laughs> so um what do you think's in this box what do you think i'm gonna do with this box what do you think that's going on what do you think's happening what do you think the squirrels are doing inside this box what do you think they're messing with give me some ideas see how uh close you can come but uh with that in mind i'm gonna wrap this one up i'm gonna try to get another video out here quick before the family wakes up and see where it's going we're in the process of doing rummage sale this weekend so everything's kind of Hectic or helter skelter around here right now. Boxes all over the place and stuff piled here and there. But we're making stuff go though. That's a good thing. But uh, give me an idea what's going on in that box. Take care, everyone. See you later, and we'll see you. Later.